Hi there and welcome back. If you've watched a few of my previous videos, you'll probably realize how much I love the pioneer fields around the Beaver Lake area. Well, on March 24th, I had the opportunity to be right in the midst of them as the Garrett family and I searched for six of their cattle that had escaped from their farm. The Garretts are sixth generation descendants of original Irish settlers in this area. Those pioneers had arrived in Bath, Ontario in 1840 and had set out on foot over 50 kilometers of, well, pretty rough terrain to seek out their allotted land. Despite the tough conditions, the original Garretts and their fellow settlers cleared trees and rocks to form the fields we see today, strangely carved out of what is otherwise wilderness on the edge of the Canadian Shield. Neatly piled rocks and cedar railed zigzag fences form the boundaries of fields and pastures throughout the area. It's hard to imagine the amount of hard work and sweat that went into clearing the land. Okay, back to the story. Mike and Maureen contacted me after a major cattle breakout at their farm near the Clare River. 62 of their herd of Charolais Cross cattle had stampeded in the night perhaps after being startled by low-flying aircraft the previous day. In their panic, they broke through the gate and escaped. Over the next few days, the Garretts managed to coax most of the fugitives back into their pasture, but six yearlings, unfamiliar with the area, had wandered far off. To make matters worse, they were spooked by a car and raced across a bridge, something they would never do naturally. Well, I certainly learned a lot about cows today. By the way, I hope you are watching the footage as I'm yakking away in case you see them. They are out there somewhere. Anyways, after about a week of tracking the cow's prints through the snow, the Garretts had a rough idea where they were, but were concerned they might wander further afield across now frozen creeks and beaver ponds, which would soon be impassable with a few days of warm weather. So they figured a drone might help, and so here I am. Of course, I imagined a heroic sighting and instant rescue, but no such luck. We searched high and low over the rough terrain to no avail. The cattle, being a creamy white color, blended in just a bit too much to stand out. Very strange how the terrain in this area has so many variations. It is literally the transition zone from the St. Lawrence Lowlands to the south and the Canadian Shield to the north. And in this shallow valley, formed by very linear glacial scraping, the geology covers the gamut of Precambrian features. The long straight creek beds and exposed granite domes are very interesting to see from above. Okay Don, get your head out of the rocks and back to looking for cattle. So it was only after reviewing the drone video footage over a coffee that we excitedly spotted the escapees racing across the rocks. Born free, as free as the wind blows. <laughs> Sorry about that. And later, we saw them run through the woods like a parade of circus elephants. And as it happens, Chris, Mike and Maureen's son-in-law, had also spotted them well on foot and had left a bale of food to keep them in the area until they could be rounded up. Here's a zoomed in view. I mentioned earlier that I'd learned a lot about cows. Well, I also learned a lot about the huge challenges facing the traditional family farming business and gained a whole lot of respect for the friendly, hardworking folks who make it all happen. So a big thank you to Mike, Maureen, Chris and Annie for a fascinating adventure and the opportunity for me to try to help out. All the best in bringing these guys back home safe and sound. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe below.